Hi everybody, I'm John Graydon from the Martial Arts Teachers Association and JohnGraydon.com. How do you improve your martial arts through strength training? This is a great question because there's two parts. There's exercises you definitely want to do as a martial artist and there's some exercises you probably want to stay away from. Let's talk first about the exercises you want to be a little cautious on. I'm not a big fan, as a fighter, I'm not a big fan of bench press or working my pectorials too much for size. Why? One of your goals as a fighter is to be able to always get your forearms together so that I can protect this side of my body and protect this side of my body. The bigger my chest gets, the harder it is. In fact, when I used to compete in tournaments, I would always seek out the guy with the biggest chest because I knew he would have a hard time defending against my side kicks and punches to his body. It always worked as a, like a charm. So we want to kind of avoid getting bulky in the chest. The areas of our body that we definitely want to work, squatting actions, anything that's going to work your quadriceps and your hamstrings and your calves, build strong, powerful legs, going to help you punch harder, help you kick harder. So we want to work those legs. We certainly want to work the abs. We want to encase ourselves in an abdominal um, armor uh, of muscle an abdominal armor of muscle, so that we're able to take body punches and body kicks. We want to work our back and build the back into that V with lat pulls and various exercises to build the back, the shoulders, and the triceps. The biceps you want to be a little careful with, again, because we, are, we, we don't want to have tension here that's going to make it difficult for us to extend our arms. doesn't mean you don't work your biceps, but you're just aware of it. When you look at top-rated boxers, professional boxers, kickboxers and mixed martial artists, you typically see a big back, big shoulders, big triceps, toned biceps, and a toned chest. You don't typically see champion fighters with real big biceps and real big chest. A lot of these fighters don't even do weight training. They build their muscle by punching the bag and punching the targets. When you're building muscle that way, you're going to see the back develop, you're going to see the shoulders, the triceps develop, uh, and then of course, we're always working our legs as well. I'm John Gray, and I hope that helps you learn how to improve your martial arts through strength training. Thanks.